this is the canon 15d i am out here in the fumes i came here to make some videos uh, of the sunrise or the day break and for those of you who have been asking how you can use this camera to record videos so when i press the trash can button you can see that there is manji crantan which i have downloaded and installed into this camera when i press it again you can see that there are several menus so you can use the scroll wheel the main scroll wheel to move from different menus and here you can change so many things this is also the plugin that gives gives uh, this camera the ability to record videos the magic Rantan plugin and on the movie you can go down here where you can see that the movie recording has been enabled and I can now record 1920 by 1080 videos at 30 frames per second. And for those of you who would like to record raw videos that have so much detail for anything another tweaks, you can come here to the modules section, then you can scroll down. You can see MRV right to demo off. So this is the ability to record the raw video with Magic Rantan on this Canon 15D. So what you need to do is press this setting button to turn it on. Press the setting button again to turn it off if you don't want to use it. The reason why I may not want to use Magic Rantan RAW on this camera, like, like right now, when you use RAW video, you record short video clips because the buffer fills up quickly. So in an instance like this one, I would prefer to record the normal 1920 by 1080 video because this option gives me the ability to record unlimited video maybe if my sd card fills up or if my battery dies but when i am using the 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second the camera will not stop recording but the difference between the videos i record with this mode and the videos i record with the raw video is that the raw videos have a huge amount of data such that if I want to change my video clip to match it with another video clip that I recorded with another camera, the detail in those video clips is sufficient enough to allow me to do so. That is why if you are shooting, if you are shooting short videos or short clips that you need to enjoy to make one video, whereby you are using different cameras using the raw video mode will be better so what you do is you press the right view button and you can press set to start recording and now you are recording raw video with this canon 15d so for those of you who have been using this camera and you are not using it to record videos, I have used it for quite some time now and my videos turn out very good. And for those of you who are looking for a camera to start their photography journey, this camera, the Canon 15D, is set up so promptly. You can see that it has all these buttons, white buttons, AF drive ISO. You can see all these buttons here. All these buttons help you to understand the camera better because when you compare this to this Nikon here, 
and Nikon is a modern camera because this this Canon 50D is more than I think 15 years old but this Nikon came out just the other day but because this Nikon was set up like a basic camera you can see that it does not have as many buttons as the Canon 15D not to mean that the Canon is better it is just to mean that the Canon is set up in in a way that gives you all the buttons you need so that you can decide what is important for you and when it comes a time to buy a new camera you can decide what you need and what you don't need so that if it is included or not in the camera you intend to buy then at that time you can decide maybe and don't use something like this top skin and don't use it so if it is not present it will not bother me so for beginners i would urge you to consider this camera it will give you a perspective of how it feels to use cameras in manual mode because the manual mode in this camera is very good with all these buttons you don't have to go into the menus to change something you just keep looking through the viewfinder here then when you press the ISO button you can change the ISO button you can change the ISO unlike the Nikon here which you have to get out of the right view come back to the if you want to change ISO with this Nikon You can see I am not able to change. I have to press the menu first. In every I have to press the I button to change the ISO. But with the Canon which is set up professionally, all I have to do is press the ISO button and change it. Right now I'm changing the aperture, but now when I use the scroll wheel here, I can change the ISO. So the kernel is set up professionally with all these buttons and dials, including this joystick, which you can use to navigate because this is not a touch screen camera, but you can use this joystick to navigate to the different changes of the picture you capture or if you want to move the what do you call it the focusing icon which shows you where the focus point is you can use this joystick to move it around so that is my little video on this Canon 15D in the field and I hope you like it let us meet in the next one have a nice time.